Hey guys, welcome to Ultra History. Today, we're going to cover the infamous Marathon de Sables. If you're an ultra runner, a marathoner, hell, even a jogger, this show will tell you everything you ever wanted to know about the history of long distance running. Before we get started, be sure to click the subscribe button below. Subscribe! This ultra marathon puts some of the world's craziest athletes into one of the world's most inhospitable regions the Sahara Desert. The Sahara is the third largest desert in the world after Antarctica and the Arctic, and spans most of North Africa, including the countries of Algeria, Chad, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, and Tunisia. You could comfortably fit the entire continental United States inside the Sahara and have room left over. It's unanimous. The Sahara is one of the hottest, driest places on Earth. Seems like a logical place to have an ultra marathon, right? In 1984, a 28-year-old Frenchman named Patrick Bauer decided to embark on an odd quest to traverse the inhospitable Sahara Desert on foot, alone, for 12 days. In the midst of Patrick's epic walkabout, he realized there'd be no better way to share his experience than to create an event for others to participate in. Two years later, the very first Marathon of the Sands was born. 23 athletes from all over the world came together for the inaugural race, and almost every year since, the number of competitors has increased dramatically. The route and format of the Marathon de Sables changes from year to year, but the race is always composed of six stages covering between 150 and 156 miles. Typically, runners traverse 21 miles on day one, 24 miles on day two, 22 miles on day three, a whopping 50 miles on day four, 27 miles on day five, and nine miles on day six. In years past, everything from war to flooding to terrible winds have sidelined competitors or even the race itself. In 1994, a sandstorm struck the race and was so bad that an Italian runner named Mario Prosperi ran 299 kilometers in the wrong direction and was lost for nine days, forced to eat lizards in order to survive. After 30 years and thousands of miles, the Marathon des Sables has become famous the world over and attracts more than a thousand runners and hundreds of staff and press each year. That's it for Ultra History this week. Stay tuned next week for more history, more facts, more news. Tune in right here and don't forget to subscribe below. Bye!